Hello, welcome to Late Night Creations. I'm Kendra and I am really glad you're here. Today, I have a very fun, well, it was fun for me to make, let me put it that way, video. And I have been trying to use up my stash. I have so much stuff. I started to say junk, it's not junk. My husband would call my craft stuff junk and he gets in trouble. But I have so much stuff in my craft room that I don't have room to buy anything else. So. I'm trying to use up my, my supplies in my craft room. And so I had, a couple years ago, bought this little rabbit head. I have one that I had recreated and it looks like this. I recreated this. This is not what the face looked like, but and this is not what the carrots looked like. I recreated this and I hang this each year by my front door, inside. Um, and so the carrots that hung from it looked like this. So I recreated them to make them match my decor a little better. And, but I used the heads in a Sunday school craft. And so I cut, removed these. And so I had tons of these. I mean, I had a bunch, I still have a bunch left over after this video, but in the Sunday school project, I only used the heads of them. So I, I used up a bunch of these carrots in this video and it's so fun. I had so much fun trying to figure out what to do with all these carrots. So it was a carrot craze video. Now, if you don't have these carrots, I give you another alternative because Dollar Tree has those packs of carrots. I think they come five in a pack, which is really a good buy. And you can absolutely use those in place and make this your own if you like these ideas. My videos are to inspire you to craft, to make things your own, to design, make your own home decor items. So also in the midst of creating these, there was a challenge put out by Farm Charm Chic, hope I'm saying that correctly, and the Crafty Cove and Happiness Created. Those three gals are hosting this challenge called five under five so you make five crafts projects under five dollars well i had five in this video and all of them were probably under three dollars even uh even if you bought these at one dollar 25 now they still would be under five dollars each so i am super duper excited for you to watch this video and see what I did with all these crazy carrots. So without yabbering away anymore, let's get crafting. Okay, right here I have the sign from Dollar Tree. I was showing you what it looked like before. I put the brown paper on the glittery side and we're gonna use the back side. And then here's these carrots that I have and I'm gonna use three of them. And I am going to paint this. No, I'm not gonna paint it, I apologize. I'm gonna use some scrapbook paper. And I bought this at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to use some glue stick and glue it down. I'm gonna use a lot of glue on this so the paper will stick good. And then I'm just gonna line it up and I'm gonna rub it down good. And I'll use my squeegee because that helps the glue get all pressed down underneath there. And then I use my X-Acto knife and get a nice crisp, clean edge. And then because it wasn't long enough, I can just match those lines up and get that to cover this nice long sign. Look how nice that matches up and then just trim that off. And it, I, I love this paper. It just makes the signs so cute. So can't even tell where I pieced it by, by the time I get all this done. Now, I'm gonna do the same um, concept with these carrots. I'm going to just trace the orange scrapbook paper. I just chose these different prints. Um, I'm gonna do two with the polka dots and one with the gingham. And just put the glue on there, press the paper down, and use that X-Acto knife and you know, it's like tracing around it with the X-Acto knife and it cuts it off nice and crisp and it looks great. You can use the sandpaper method if you choose and um, 
but I didn't want the paper to look any look distressed in this one. So yeah, I'm gonna do the top with this cute green polka dot paper. I mean, you choose whatever kind of paper you want if you choose to do this. You also, like I mentioned in my um, intro, you can use those packs of little wooden carrots from Dollar Tree if you want to. Get the paper on there. I've finished all three. I'm gonna put eeks. Look at that. I'm gonna clean that up later. Um, you can put a thin coat of Mod Podge on top so that the paper is protected. I'm gonna do that on all three carrots and the sign, the wooden part of the sign. I'm not gonna show you all of that because this video is long enough already without me having to add in all that extra stuff. Now I'm gonna put some twine around almost, I think every carrot that I make in this video, I do this. So watch this one carefully because I don't think I show you as good in every video how, how this works. Just wrap it around the top, glue it down, wrap it around the top, glue it down. It's easy peasy. And then I do a little bit different with in each video, with each carrot in this video. Some I put a little twine bow some I make a little bow out of some uh, ribbon, but these carrots turn out so cute. I just love this. I think they're so, I don't know, whimsical. Love it. Okay, then I'm just going to glue them once I figure out how to. I want to arrange them. Oh yes, poke my holes back in there. Oh, nope, gonna put some beads on the, on the hanger. I decided I'm gonna put some beads on the hanger. So these hangers have the little plastic, uh, what do you call that? I don't know, it's like a little plastic tab. Made it really easy to put those beads on and it makes it really easy just to string that back through there. Now I'm playing with it and I can't decide if I want it to go up as a hanger or to hang down like that. And I really kind of decided that I liked it hanging down like that. And so, um, instead of a bow, I decided I was just going to wrap some of this burlap ribbon that has polka dots on it that I got at Dollar Tree around the bottom. And then I'm just going to take some of this twine and do the same. Just wrap it around the bottom a couple times and secure it with some hot glue on the back and snip it off with my scissors. And I love my little silicone finger that I get at Dollar Tree, a little finger protector because I can just press that hot glue in there. And I'm just gonna hot glue these carrots on. This is a super simple DIY and it's super cute. Um, I just glue that down there and then I did glue, I don't know if I showed this or not. Yeah, I'm gonna glue a hanger on the back. I'm just gonna glue a little loop of twine and then I glue a piece of that ribbon across there to just reinforce it. It's not heavy but you know, I just don't want that twine to come loose. And there you go. Okay, next we're just going to take some more of these carrots that I have a plentiful supply of. We're going to take some regular burlap ribbon and some green burlap ribbon. And this was super easy. You could do this with those wooden packs that I have up there in the in the picture in the frame and we are just going to wrap and wrap and wrap gluing on the back side as we go just keep wrapping and wrapping and you just kind of have to get your rhythm this rhythm right here worked really good for me and I would stop and glue and sometimes I would have to stop and kind of push it up you know putting the glue on the back side not the front side um, and then I kind of would lose my rhythm and I'd have to get back in the rhythm of it. But just a little glue there just to keep it from sliding around. And it went pretty fast once I got the rhythm down. There you go. See, I had to switch my hands back. Um, and I just went all the way down to the bottom. And then I did use my lighter and got rid of all the fuzzies in the very end. I don't think I show that, but um, I did do that. Now the green was a little more tricky when you get to the very top. But this part right here was... Um, pretty easy, same as the bottom. Just wrap it around there, you know, kind of get the rhythm going and um, just keep going around and around. Just I just put the glue on the sides on the bottom, but this one was a little bit tricky.
trickier, so I kind of I used a little bit more glue, but it really didn't take a whole lot of glue. And then I'm showing you, I just did that on the very tips. I just kept going around. I'm just barely in frame here, sorry. But you can figure it out. Just wrap it around, wrap it around until you get it all the way to the ends and just secure it down with your hot glue. And this makes the cutest little carrot. And then I'm going to also add some beads to it because I think it just made it a little extra cute. So there I'm just adding that little extra glue to that little end piece that was on there. So here they are, super cute. I love these, I love how they turned out. And so yeah, I did the fire, I did the fire on them. I, um, I guess maybe I'm gonna show you how I did it. Um, it, you know, if this is not your thing and you're afraid, then just trim them with the scissors or leave them. I really kinda like how it makes it a little darker in some places too. So um, yeah, just don't burn yourself, don't burn your house down. You know, be careful. Um, now I am going to put these on a little bamboo skewer. And, you know, sometimes I just don't know how many I want. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So I'm not sure why I used this styrofoam. That was the first time I've ever put that styrofoam under there to paint these. But it just seemed like the thing to do because it was laying there. So I just give these a quick little coat of orange paint on these carrots because orange just seemed to be fitting for carrots, right? So tops, sides, all around. These things are really pretty easy to paint um, if you put them on a skewer or secure them somehow. Um, so there they are. They're all painted. And then I'm going to just take some twine and I'm going to, well, first I'm going to hot glue these together, I believe. Yeah. And be very careful that when you hot glue them together, that there's not glue sticking out the back side because if you do, well, you know, there's the glue strings. But then when you pick it up and the glue is not quite done, yeah, it burns. Out, it hurts. So I just go ahead and take my little into my tweezers and smear that out so it'll dry quicker. Then I'm just going to take some twine. I'm actually going to take two pieces, but I'm trying to see how long I want it because I'm going to tie it and then we're going to add the beads in just a bit. So um, probably could have cut some of this footage out because this video is really long and I apologize, but it's five DIY projects. So here I've got two strands the same length and I'm just going to tie them in a simple little you know, not. What am I doing with this white? I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna do a little dry brush on the carrots so they're not quite so bright orange. A little bit of white on them will just kind of make them a little bit less orange, bold. So yeah, I kind of forgot I did that, but yes, these are so, so cute. I have them displayed in my home and going to string these carrots on carrots oh my goodness I'm gonna string these beads on my carrot um, just on one strand and then I'm gonna tie the other strands in a bow well you'll see what I'm talking about sometimes it's hard for me to explain what I'm doing so I'm gonna tie these other two that are in the center in a knot and then I'm going to tie another knot, apparently. And then I'm going to tie a bow. At, at some point, I tie a little bow up there. And it looks really cute. I just like little simple twine bows sometimes. When there's a lot going on somewhere else, I think just a simple twine bow is good. Then I just tie a little knot there. And put a little dab of hot glue to keep it extra secure. And that's it for this one. I think it's cute. It was super easy. And... It's just really cute to add. You could add it to a tear tray or any little vignette. It's really cute. Next DIY. Here's a sign I've had in my stash for a while. You see it's Thanksgiving. I'm just gonna take this hanger out 
and it's one of those good ones that has the little uh, plastic tabs on it. I'm just going to rip this off so that it's a smoother texture. Cover this, the sunflowers up with some, um, this is just that brown roll of paper you can get at Dollar Tree. And it works really good to just put some craft glue, you know, stick glue. Sometimes I put it all over, sometimes I just put it around the edges. Kind of depends on how big the project is, but uh, I'm not sure why I'm showing you all of this and why I didn't cut some of this out. The video might not have been quite so long, but um, maybe somebody's watching this for the first time and they've never done this or seen this done, and it's a new hack for them. So here you go. Take your X-Acto knife, run it around the edges as close as you can get, a nice sharp X-Acto knife, and there you go. The back is finished. You don't have to worry about painting over that. And then you can paint over this side. I'm just going to give it one good coat of white. Um, I think it's called linen by Brustoleum. I use it all the time. I'm going to use my ruler to make a couple of lines. So I'm going to paint it and make it look like, you know, shiplap or wood or whatever. And, you know, I don't really measure. I eyeball. And I'm using uh, chalk paint by Waverly in the color Elephant. I'm going to use my ruler to just make some lines. They don't have to be even. They don't have to be smooth. In fact, rugged is good. And each time I pick it up, I wipe that off. So when I lay it back down, I don't get paint everywhere. Now I'm going to dry brush a little bit of this gray so that it kind of looks like wood over those lines kind of so it kind of smudges it. And then in from the sides, and a little in the middle just so it kind of looks like faux wood. Um, yeah, a little bit along the edges. As much or as little as you want. This is how I wanted mine to look. Now I take an old t-shirt, a little piece of an old t-shirt, and kind of buff it. It makes it smooth. And I'm just showing you there's those carrots as an alternative. If you don't have a gajillion of these little <laughs> orange carrots like I do. So we're going to cover some in scrapbook paper again. I've already shown you in the first DIY how to do this, so I'm not going to go in great detail um, with these black and white ones, but this is how we're going to do it, and I'm showing you how it looked like a little bitty piece of paper, but you can actually get quite a bit out of it. So glue in the black on the bottom, just glue stick. Get it on there nice where it fits and cut the excess off. I'm going to scrape it down good. I'm going to flip it over. I'm looking for something. My X-Acto knife. It looks like I might need a new blade on that one. Hopefully I change that. Um, yeah, just trim that off. I'm loving this scrap with paper together and this green it's it's kind of funny when I was looking for paper I was like I need something that kind of looks like it would be the top of a carrot I didn't really have anything and when I chose that green polka dot I used in the previous DIY and then this one once I got it on the carrots it was like oh my gosh it looks so cute but I would have never really picked it to be the top of the carrots but look how cute that looks oh my goodness so here they all are Oh, I'm in love with this one. It's not even really my style. I'm really more like cottage shabby chic, modern shabby chic, but I think these turned out super cute. I do like black and white, though. I really do. So here I'm wrapping that twine around there again, and I do believe I made some... I'm playing with fire again. And I do believe that I made um, some tiny little bows to go on each one. Yes, just simple little twine bows and then I'm going to glue them just right there at the top and then I'm seeing about my placement on here how I want them to lay look how cute they look then just going to hot glue them secure them with some hot glue all four of them and you know if you want them straight put them straight if you don't don't putting that little hanger back on there I love those little hangers, and there you go. And I decide I'm just going to put a little bow, and I really like to do simple bows. I'm not much of a fancy bow kind of girl, 
and so I've kind of gotten myself into these just lay the strips down and I'm making sure that it's the right size um, I've taught my Sunday school kids how to make these bows and they're like oh that's so easy and I'm like yep you can make it look cute and it doesn't have to be hard so I'm just layering each layer um, a little shorter than the one that was underneath it then I'm just going to pinch them together in the middle take a piece of twine I like to wrap it usually I like to wrap it around a couple times unless I'm going to put something else on top but I'm just going to wrap it around a couple times and secure it with a knot and then just twist it and fluff it and twist it and make it look how I want it to look super cute then I'm just going to hot glue it on there and this one will be done and I mean to tell you this one doesn't look like any of the rest of them it doesn't match but um I love it. Oh yeah, I decided to put this little thing in the middle. I forgot about this. Um, I got that black and white ribbon after Christmas on clearance. It was a, I don't know if it's Christmas or Valentine's. It looks like it might have been Valentine's. I've had it for a couple years. And just watch the sales after the seasons. If you don't know that already, you can find some really good deals. Um, you might not always get what you want, but you can get some good deals. So just wrapping it around my fingers, getting it in the middle, securing it, and putting that right in the center. That just added a little extra flair to it. Super cute. Let me know what you think about this one, if you like the black and white. Leave me a comment. Let me know. Next DIY, more of these carrots and and the and the Dollar Tree sign. I'm showing you what the original one looked like. I've already kind of prepped it by removing all that stuff and covering up the glitter with some paper. Um, there you go. And um, yeah, so these, so these, this, I bought these when they were a dollar, but even at a dollar twenty-five, like I said in my intro, that would be a dollar twenty-five. Those carrots were half a half of a sign so I'm gonna say since I paid a dollar for them that would be 50 cents and a little bit of paint and a little bit of ribbon so let's say it was even like three three dollars um, so I'm just using some orange paint to paint the bottom of the carrot I'll use some green paint to paint the top of the carrot I did probably I think I did two coats on these because it didn't cover very good and then I took a darker green and just kind of went around the edges to give it some character and some dimension. And then I just kind of made some little brush strokes up to kind of go in between there to make it look like it had some dimension to it. And then I mixed a little bit of brown with some orange to make my orange darker because I did not have a darker orange. And then I'm just gonna kind of dry brush this around the edges coming in from the sides so that it looks like, you know those little brown lines in the carrots? Look how cute they look. Then I took a little white to just put some highlights on it because I think that just makes it look like the light's shining on it or just, I don't know, it just adds some extra flair that makes it look a little cuter. So I'm gonna just tie a little piece of twine around the top of those and then I'm gonna take some Waverly Antique Wax and I'm gonna just go in with a dry brush and give this just a little bit. I mean, you can put, you can do as little or as much. If you like it really, really, um, a lot of people call this distressing. I just like to make it look like wood or aged. Um, then you do a lot. I didn't, I didn't do a lot. So now um, I, I'm drilling some, I'm drilling, making my holes bigger. I'm not really remembering why I made my holes bigger. I think I used some bigger twine. Now I cut this out on my Cricut and I'm using my Frisco transfer tape that I absolutely love. Wendy over at White Sparrow Living turned me on to that and she's amazing and, and I've been using it ever since. And so, um, yes. And be sure to check out 
the playlist in the description box below because it's going to be a great collection of five DIYs, each under $5. So I'm so excited to be a part of this, and I can't wait to watch the playlist myself. So I want to thank the hosts today for hosting this, and yeah, so I'm going to place this on here, and it looks like it's pretty centered. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I like to just eyeball. I'm not much of one for getting out the ruler to measure. I probably should on some of my projects, but I usually eyeball it and it's okay. So I took this uh, ribbon and I just cut off a little piece of it. I feel the need to show you here. Not that I don't think you're smart enough to figure that out, but then I just pinch it up in the middle and cut off a piece of twine tie that twine. I wrap the twine around several times and then just tie it in a knot and then we're just going to hot glue these little bows right at the carrot top. I didn't put any twine around these uh, because I realized that you couldn't even see the twine because the bow covered it all up. So why waste the time, the steps, and the twine? So then, you know, here I'm with my, I'm really not a pyro maniac, but I <laughs> do like for the edges not to fray and then I really kind of like that little brown edge that it gives it. So they're glued. We're going to secure the carrots to the sign as soon as I get all my stuff out of the way. Um, I really do feel a little claustrophobic with all my stuff in the way here but um, I try to stay in frame most of the time but I get a little carried away. So get these Get these secured down with some hot glue and the glue, because this is kind of like, these are more like paper carrots, it, it holds, it's going to hold it really good. They're secured down. Oh my gosh, gosh, this is looking so cute. So I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this ribbon. I'm going to cut them the same length and then I'm going to decide how far apart I want my two pieces to hang and then I'm going to um, glue these to the back and I, I, I kind of go back and forth a little bit to see I'm using the lines on this uh, board that I have on my this is a Fiskars um, cutting board so I can cut with an X-Acto knife um, I try not to get paint on it because it was not well I, it wasn't probably really expensive but it, it was a little bit more expensive than I really would want to replace to get paint all over it. So, oh, I'm using a ruler. Look at me. Well, it is kind of important for these to be in the right spot, so. And I hope that I straighten that top piece out a little bit before I glue that down. Oh, I didn't, but I think it looks straight when I get finished, so maybe the bottom one's a little crooked, too. Oh, I'm straight. I don't think I'm straightened it up. Okay, anyway, you know, when it's handmade, it's okay. Now I'm going to put that tape on the end of the twine and run my twine through these beads, making my hanger. Sometimes it's a little harder than others. If it's very hard, sometimes I just throw that bead back in the jar and get some more. So this, this I'm going to make the hanger decide how long I want it. And I'm going to bring the hanger up through the front and tie a knot because I like that look. If you don't like that look, you do it however you like it. Okay, last but certainly not least of the DIYs, I have some green and some orange acrylic paint I watered down to just give these beads um, a kind of a translucent, more of a translucent, less vibrant. And I put a piece of tape in the middle of this skewer so that they wouldn't touch each other and just gave them one thin coat of paint. And I just wanna say thank you if you've made it to this point in this video for sticking around and watching to the end because this garland is gonna be so cute. So I drilled a hole in each end um, I put a piece of tape on the back side where I was going to drill the hole.
because it kind of messed up the back side if I didn't. So I'm going to do the same technique that I've done with several DIYs in this video and cover these carrots with paper. And orange on the bottom and green on the top, polka dots. I have, I have a thing for polka dots. You should know that by now if you've watched any of my videos. Now I'm going to do that same dry brush technique I did when I painted them, but I'm doing it on the paper this time. And yes, you can do that. But I'm using the Antique Wax um, by Waverly. And then I'm going to do just a little white dry brushing just to give it some highlights and just a little more personality and just, you know, wherever the, you think that the light would hit it and just makes it look a little more whimsical. These carrots, just they just have whimsy written all over them, so that's what we're doing. I'm just going to go ahead, wrap some twine around there. Same story, second verse, same as the first. Very repetitive, um, kind of zipping through these and not showing a lot of detail because it's very repetitive. So put the bows on, the little tiny twine bows um, on top. And then I'm going to feed the twine through one end of the carrot and then to the other end of the carrot. Put beads in between, put another carrot on, put beads, put a carrot on, put beads. I had to get my handy dandy tweezers um, to help pull that through. And, you know, I can hardly do a DIY without using my tweezers for something. Um, and, yeah, this thing turned out super cute. I cannot pick a favorite of which, one of which one of these DIYs is my favorite. So, leave a comment. Let me know which one's your favorite. And do, would you recreate any of these? And if so, would you use scrapbook paper? Would you paint? Uh, what would you do? Let me know. I'm interested in how you would how you would create with these carrots if you had them, because oh man, I still have I still have a Ziploc bag full of these carrots. I wanted to show the um, craft that, that, that we did in Sunday school but I could not find a picture of it. It is super cute. It's, it says, Silly Rabbit, Easter is for Jesus. Because even though I do love the carrots and I do love bunnies, we do know that Easter is all about the death and resurrection of our Lord and Jesus and our Savior. And without Him, we would not have the chance for eternal life in heaven with him someday. And if you don't know that, I encourage you to get your Bible out and read about that and make him your Lord today. So here I am fumbling, thinking that I've done it wrong and then I didn't, I just had it twisted. And so I'm almost finished with this and wait till you see the end result. It's kind of hard to show a whole garland and keep it in frame, but when you see the end result. Now this is probably not a garland you could hang on your mantle, but it's more one you would lay across. <laughs>